What's good? What's going on? We blessed for real. We blessed, bro. What's good with y'all? What's going on? What's happening? And how is everybody doing? I guess we'll have a profitable week. Put in work, stay consistent, believe in ourselves. It's a boy hard and I'm back again with another video and outlook like I always do it. For the 24th of October, all the way to the 28th. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me for not having to have uploaded what I planned. A few things happened, like people just changed up for me, switched up for me later on when we planned things. But it is what it is. We move. It's a boy Harlem. I'm back again with another video. And by the way, um, I've started my program, which will be starting from the 1st of November all the way to... I don't know, forever. I will have a screenshot, a poster somewhere. I don't know, here or here, anyway. But yeah, we did, um, started. It's up and it's running. I'm still promoting it. I, I, I plead the support, I plead the love, I plead the unity, the dignity, the strength, and I did the support. So let's carry on with our outlook. So looking at the structure of the NAS, we can still tell the like prices moving in the downtrend price which okay this rectangle we all know that this rectangle is our major support like our more like our all-time support on the nest so on our outlook we was waiting for for price to either work continue to the downside or for price to do what to push to the upside and continue to the downside but fortunately price did push retest push 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 until we had this um push to the upside to end the week so i don't need to explain i don't need to cap a lot or i don't need to uh, break it down that much we can tell that like this was just a bullish flag price broke out to end the week so obviously with this impulsive push on my current price i'm focusing on current price if you can see why started on the 4h this is an impulsive push so with this push to the upside we're simply waiting for an exhaustion phase before price can continue to the upside. So on my outlook, all I'm waiting for is for reactions of the zone right here, because price wants to react there, reacted again. And if now we're looking at current price being bullish, let's expect at least price to come back off of this very same zone. So all I can be all I can say or all I can be looking for is for a 400 to 450 pip move to the upside on the NAS. So on my outlook or on when price or when market opens, I'm looking for continuation to the upside with a simple break and retest of this bullish flag and the bullish momentum we have, which price closed the week on, on our outlook. So I'm simply looking for a continuation to the upside on the NAS till price reacts on what our previous or our intraday resistant. Looking at gold, looking at gold on our four hour, we can tell, okay, on our outlook, I did, on, on my outlook, I did indicate that like, we was looking for a continuation to the upside once we get a what, a bullish close from a what, this big candle, which closed as a pin bar for continuation to the upside. But unfortunately, we couldn't reach the zone until price impulsively pushed to the downside. Looking at this, we can tell that this is a potential double bottom so on gold from a bigger picture from a daily time frame i don't need to move i don't need to go to the daily time frame you have to if you're looking at the video but i know that this is a clean double bottom or a w for a continuation or a reversal to the upside so on my outlook all i can say is oh what i'm looking for because of this push I can simply wait for a retest of the zone to continue to the upside. Reaction from this zone, we look to for price to move to the downside. But if this push, exhaustion, push, exhaustion, move type of structure um, um, shows up, then let's expect price to be what? To be bullish with a what? A confirmation of our what? W or double bottom, which we're looking for. So on my outlook on gold, I'm simply looking for what? For continuation to the upside in reaction to this zone. Uh, German 30, okay, so German 30, if we can tell, if we can simply look at German 30, we can tell that this, that this is a push and this is some type of correction, you understand? So now, but what I can say is 
price had a high, had a low, had a high, had a low. You understand? So we're moving, in, we're moving in higher highs and higher lows. You feel me from the four H. You feel me? So now all I can say or all I'm looking for my outlook because of this impulsive push to the upside, it's either for price to react off of this zone. You understand with what? Once price got there, pushed, came back again, didn't get that impulsive push to the downside. And then, okay, price once pushed to the downside, came back again, couldn't push like it did previously. So all I can say is once price is on the zone and this one, all I can say is if price will react off the zone with a current market one, um, double bottom or current market price double top then let's simply look forward for price to continue moving to the downside from this previous reaction but if we can get a break let's simply wait for a retest and a continuation to the upside so that's my take on german 30 i'm simply looking forward for price to react off of the previous intraday support off of the intraday resistance zone if price fails to break that intraday resistance we continue to the downside but if we get a breakout let's wait for a retest and continue or move to the upside of the price looking at us steady okay us steady we was holding we was holding this zone in us steady if if y'all can see what i'm looking at us steady was holding this zone you understand um price once printed out this high, this high pushed came back rejected pushed and broke out came back in broke out again to end the week so on my outlook or oh, all i'm looking for because now this is now history to me i'm looking at what this zone all i can say is from a push breakout i'll wait for a retest and a continuation to the upside so on your study it's straightforward i don't need to say much or say less i'm simply looking for what a retest and a continuation to the upside or you can say now because or you can simply say this is a what higher high higher low potential new higher high you understand so USD CAD, okay, on USD CAD, all I can say is this is a BS chart. The me price is moving in the BS move, can't say much, but all I can say is we can simply trade what support and we can simply trade resistance. But either way, all I'm waiting for is for break, retest, break, retest. That's it, or that's what I'm looking for on USD CAD. Tesla. Tesla is also holding support, the major support. Price is failing to break the major support. And we did have our ending report, which we had a missed revenue. So all I can say is with bear momentum, with bear depletion and bullish momentum, we can simply look or start looking for price to be bullish. Bitcoin, I can't say much on Bitcoin or I can't explain anything. But all I can say is on Bitcoin, price was holding the support. This resistance, this resistance, until we had a potential wedge off of this zone. So with this push and bullish depletion on resistance, I simply anticipated a continuation to the downside. But everything happened on the everything happened on the hourly. What the fuck? Okay, so everything happened on the hourly time frame. If you can tell the like price had a what a push and some sort of what correction break for continuation to the downside. So this was just an, an analysis just to show you all, this is what I wake up or this is what I always do every day. I wake up to analyze daily for our momentum, correction, fail to break, break out, retest, flag, um, flag, wedge, support, resistance, excluding supply and demand because I don't understand it. So yeah, we did have this wedge and we had a breakout. So obviously with a break, I simply waited for what this candle to be bullish until it turned bearish and I took a continuation trade to the downside. So what I can say now on my outlook, it's I don't see anything. Price is just moving in sideways movement. Even on Ethereum, price is just moving in a sideways movement. You understand? Moving in sideways move. There's nothing for me to say. Even on Litcoin, price is in a sideways move. But I see another wedge off of this zone, some sort of depletion. So once price holds this zone and fails to break and gives me some sort of bullish depletion like I see and some sort of bear momentum, then I can anticipate or look for continuation to the downside. Last but not least, we have oil. So oil, I also don't love how price is moving, but all I can do is share how I analyze this three trades. 
You understand? Strictly from the hourly time frame. Starting off with this one. So now, obviously, once I saw the like price printed a low, came back, printed a high, came to this pin bar or this rejection, all I anticipated was once I get some sort of a bullish candle close or some sort of bullish momentum, I can simply anticipate a continuation to the upside. But what I was looking for, to be honest, it was for price to simply trade above this rejection, above this high, you understand? Unfortunately, we did get it. Price failed to do what? To hit stop loss because I put my stop loss lower than the close and the open of those three candles and price reacted off of them and pushed to the upside. So now to take the second, how I took the second one, price came back right there, uh, multiple rejections, opened a gap with a gap to open the market, sideways movement. So this was just like some sort of a push and this was some sort of like a rejection, um, depletion, you understand? Some sort of bad depletion. What I anticipated or what I was simply looking for, it was for price to trade above what? Above those rejections, you understand? And I anticipated a continuation to the upside. Unfortunately, we did get it, you understand? And price did continue to the upside. This last one, it's also the way how I took those two trades. So once price broke out and broke back in with this momentum candle, this big candle, all I was looking for, it was for price to react off of this rejections. Like I say, you understand, price did what? Broke out, broke back in, had a retest and a continuation to the downside, you understand? So once price came back to the very same zone, what I was looking for, there was some sort of a what? A big candle, which will anticipate a continuation to the downside. And fortunately, I did take it from, off of that very same zone and price did what? continued to the downside so all i can say is this is what i wake up to do every day build to break break out bear candle bear close momentum fill to break this that whatnot whatnot this and that everything this is the things that i always wake up to analyze or always wake up to do so yeah it's your boy hello all I can say is, oh, all I can wish you all, it's a profitable week. Let's be consistent. Let's believe in ourselves. Let's put in work. And let's always believe in ourselves and stay disciplined and always stay committed in all that we do. This is my outlook. I know it might have been short. This might be my shortest outlook, but I understand and but I know. All I can say is, I'm just trying to give you all game, you understand? So on the next, we're looking for continuations to the upside. Gold to the upside, German 30 to the upside. Once it breaks out of, of that support, that resistance, US, the US 30 retest and continue to the upside. USD care to trading support and resistance in that zone until we get a breakout, either to the upside or not to the downside. Tesla can say much, Bitcoin can say much, Ethereum can say much, Litcoin can say much, oil also can say much. So it's a boy, Harlem. If you weren't trying to trading with Harlem, then who the was you doing it with? So that's all I got in this video, man. I'm out.